Have you ever wondered how far in space we have traveled? Well, the space business is now a venerable one. On April 12, 1961, more than half a century ago, humanity's first space explorer, Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin, orbited the globe all the way back when Britain still used half pennies to buy their fish and chips. However, as our species has expanded its toehold in the icy depths of space, mankind has set numerous additional records. In today's video, we will be discussing the farthest a human has traveled in space, so keep watching to find out more. With the first spacewalks, the Soviet Union took the lead. But U.S. President John F. Kennedy's statement that America would put a man on the moon by the end of the 1960s refocused the space race on that goal. On the 20th of July, 1969, Apollo 11 landed on our dusty gray neighbor. Over the next few years, a total of 12 American astronauts walked on the moon, but no one has returned since 1972. Since then, no one has ventured beyond the planet's edges. We imagine astronauts flying through space or bouncing around in moon craters, but the vast majority of those who have been fortunate enough have instead just spun around in low Earth orbit, which is between 99 to a few hundred miles high, which is where the vast array of communications and navigation satellites live, speeding at thousands of miles an hour to avoid plummeting back to Earth. The all-American crew of the historic Apollo 13 set the record for the furthest distance flown by humans on April 14, 1970 when they were 400,171 kilometers or 248,655 miles from Earth. For nearly 50 years, this record has been unbroken. A mishap led to Apollo 13 becoming the spaceship that carried humans the farthest. The story was so fascinating that it was adapted into a full-length Hollywood film in 1995. Apollo 13 was the third manned flight to the moon and the American Apollo space program's seventh space mission overall. On April 11, 1970, a three-person crew launched from Florida's Kennedy Space Center. Jim Arthur Lovell, Jack Swigert, and Fred Hayes were the three-person crew. Apollo 13's intended objective was to land on the moon's surface and study the Frau Mora Formation, also known as the Frau Mora Highlands, which is named after the 60-mile-wide Frau Mora Crater that lies within it. However, it was forced to abandon its primary mission after an explosion in the service module's oxygen tank disabled the command module. With limited power, a lack of drinkable water, and a loss of cabin heat were just a few of the obvious issues that kept the crew from landing on the moon as anticipated. A group of Houston scientists and engineers devised a life-saving plan to ensure the safety of the three astronauts. In order to safely return the three to Earth, they instructed the astronauts to steer the shuttle onto a free return course, using the moon's gravity as a slingshot. To do so, the shuttle flew past the far side of the moon, or dark side, at a height of 254 kilometers above the lunar surface, the farthest humans have ever traveled into the vastness of the universe. At 021 UTC on April 15, 1970, this milestone was reached. It has been more than five decades since that watershed event in 1970, and we still haven't been able to surpass that record. However, when it comes to the farthest human-made item in space, Voyager 1, a space probe launched by NASA in September 1977, is the farthest human-made object in space. Voyager 1 also holds the distinction for being the longest continuously operational spacecraft. Scientists can connect with it 40 years after it was launched, albeit at a slow pace. A signal from this space probe currently takes more than 20 hours to travel through space and reach Earth. Voyager 1 has traveled almost 13 billion miles so far and is currently traveling through space at a speed of more than 38,000 kilometers per hour. Voyager 1 has succeeded in traveling out of our solar system and into interstellar space, free from the effects of our sun. Scientists believe that in a few years we will lose all the contact with this resilient space probe and it may silently disappear into unfettered space, never to be heard from again. So we have yet to send humans beyond the moon. By new age tech businesses like Tesla and federal space agencies like NASA pursuing human colonization of Mars. Only time will tell how and when that will happen, but once we get on Mars, we'll eventually beat the great Apollo 13 crew's five decade record. Let us know what you think in the comment section below and give us a thumbs up by hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any updates from us. Finally, go through the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.